Hello everybody, it is a midweek video, uh, or Monday, in fact, I don't know, whatever time I've decided to upload this. But anyway, I am on a job now which um, I'm installing a digital door viewer. Now this job here which I'm working on is, it's a job which you haven't actually, you haven't actually seen this. I've actually done another video of uh, the um, managing agents here wanting me to install some extra door security here. Uh, so all of these bars, these reinforcing bars and the door locks all down here and stuff. I put it all in and these rack bolts and stuff. I was quite pleased with the end result actually. It came out, it came out really well. Um, so that's all gone in, um, but that's on another video, which you will see another time as soon as I've got time to cut it together, basically. But in the meantime, I've been called back because the client here wants a digital door viewer. Um, I'll show you down here. Now, these door viewers, I'll be honest, I, I really didn't know these existed. I had no idea that you could, uh, you could get these, and I had no idea you could get them as readily available as these are, because this cost about, this was not expensive. This was, uh, I think it was 29 quid. Really, really cheap bit of kit. It was not expensive. And these basically replaced the old-fashioned, you know, the old-fashioned manual door viewers like this one here. The customer was going to ask me to fit this one, but then they bought this one, so this one isn't needed anymore. So, basically, this is it. And what we've got, instructions, don't need them. So this is it. We've got a, that's our little viewer. And then we have this little camera. And that's it, yeah, and there's a little doorbell on the front of it. And that's the lead which goes through the door and it just hooks onto the back of, onto the back of that. So it's a very simple little design, but it's really clever because this viewer um, has got uh, an SD card built into it. So when someone presses the button on the outside, it will automatically take a photo of who's out there and it saves it onto the SD card. Um, or you can do it so as it records a 10 second video if you wish. So it's actually, it's a very good bit of kit. Um, anyway, so let's, uh, let's get on and fit it and see what, we, see, what we think, see what we think of it. See what 29 quid in the UK gets you. Now, by default, I am unfortunately a bit of a lanky bastard, so I'm quite tall. So that means that I'd probably have to put it about there, but the average person isn't that tall, so about there, say, I guess. Square. We'll go on what looks visually right rather than mathematically right, because I know for a fact this door isn't totally square. That's below the five. We'll put it there. Uh, and if anybody decides to buy one of these, it's a 16 mil spade bit you need to, to drill through the door, just in case you're wondering. Now, one thing that I have noticed, and it's a good tip to pass on, especially if you're, if you're young coming into the industry again, if you're doing anything like this, not necessarily this sort of work, but anything which is going to be, is you've got to drill holes through decorative surfaces like this. So we've drilled through the outer side of the door going in, okay? But if you drill through to the inside of the door, just until the tip of the spade bit punches through like that, stop there, take the drill out, and then finish on this side, drilling through, because that way you'll get a lovely neat finish on the inside of the door. Otherwise, what I've had, and I've had it before, where I just haven't been thinking, and I've just boshed the hole from the outside in, or whichever way you're going, and if you just let the spade bit go all the way through, you'll end up with this horrible thing, the spade bit, or whatever drill bit it's using, it'll just blow out the inside of the door, and if you're trying to do it on a decorative surface, it just, it really, it's not good. So that's a really good tip. Um, you know, if you haven't, um, if you're new coming into the industry and stuff, take note of that because uh, I've, I've done it before myself where, you know, I've drilled a hole through and it's blown out the inside of something decorative and then you've got to stand there like a dick and explain to the customer that you basically fucked up. So yeah, just a little tip to note. Okay, so now that our hole through the door has been drilled, what we've got to do is we've got to fix this to the door. Now this is the internal plate which sits on the inside of the door, okay? So the camera just goes through like that, and then that goes on there like that, and basically you've got two sets of these screws. You've got a long set and a short set, depending on the, obviously on the size, the thickness of the door. So they screw into here like this, from what I gather. And we then feed this through the said doorway, and that's basically the end, the end result there. So we've got to tighten these down. I think I might, I'm probably gonna have to cut those down, I think, actually, I might have to. And that's the end result. So it's literally just the two screws which go through the door. And that's the face plate, which uh, the monitor will now bolt onto. And that's the finish on the outside. So that's all you see, you don't see anything else. 
So I think it's a very neat finish, the way that they've done it. So we'll put the monitor on now, and we'll get that going, and we'll see what the end result's like, because I'll be intrigued to see actually what the sort of the resolution of this camera's like, and actually see how good it is. So give me five minutes, I'll pop the monitor on, and I'll report back. Now I should probably mention at this moment that this, uh, this monitor, um, the SD card sits in the back. So I was trying to figure out, because the instructions are in Chinglish, so they're absolutely no use whatsoever. Uh, so I was trying to work out how you actually fit the batteries in it, because it says it takes four AA batteries, but I had absolutely no idea how to get into it. And I spent, must have been a good 10 minutes trying to figure out how to peel this back case off, and you don't. All you do, because uh, the instructions don't actually tell you how to do this bit, just put your fingers in the corners here, and this, watch me break it now. That's it, and the cover just comes off and your SD card just sits in the top there, like so. And you've got four AA batteries. It doesn't come with the SD card though, but uh, that's fine, I had a, a cheap spare one. You don't need a really good quality SD card for this, just a cheap, simple one will do. Now for the AA batteries, I'm using these Energizer Industrial. Uh, well, you can't generally get them installed, but you can get them online, and they are fantastic batteries. If you just want a good quality alkaline battery, these are brilliant, I'd highly recommend them. Very, very good bits of kit. So that's that all on. Right, let's go fit it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the end result. That's it, it's in. So this is it, um, and it's very straightforward to use. Um, you've just got your two scroll buttons here. I'll see if I can zoom in a bit more. So you've got your two scroll buttons, um, backwards and forwards, uh, so system settings. Uh, night light, not sure what that is. Um, there's nothing in the manual about it, I'm not sure. We'll switch it on, I don't know what it does. Mute, I'm guessing that's for the doorbell facility, date and time. Themes, you can have themes as well, so spring, summer, autumn and winter, which I think is quite cool. Uh, we'll go for spring, let's be optimistic. Language, Chinglish, recording mode. So recording mode, you can either have, um, when somebody presses the doorbell on the outside, it can either take a photo, or it can take a low res photo, or a three, five, or ten second video. So I've just got it set to a ten second, probably doesn't need to be a ten second video actually. We'll do five seconds. Recording timestamp, that's on. Anti-flicker, backlight time, 15 seconds, that's ample. Visitor records, there's no, none yet, because no one's pressed the doorbell yet. Device info, it's just hardware versions and stuff. Uh, and that's it, so it's a very good little bit of kit. Um, you know, it's amazing what you can actually buy for, you know, 20, I think it was 28 quid. It was not expensive, 28, 30 quid. Um, I mean, I don't know how long it's going to last. I, you know, I've got no idea, but it seems pretty well made. Um, and it's got, a, you know, it's a nice screen. It's got a good picture outside. It records when you press the bell outside. You know, it's just a modern version of the old fashioned, you know, peepholes. It does make you wonder what they can produce for that sort of money. So, but I'll keep you updated on this and let you know how it goes sort of moving forward in sort of six months, a year's time. Um, I'll do a long-term review on it because it really, you know, I find it fascinating that you can buy this sort of tech for such a small amount of money. I really, I find it fascinating. And on the, and on the outside of the door, as we said, you've just got this little, um, little mic, you've got the little camera here with the bell push underneath. The only thing to be aware of is I had a really bad image when I fitted this. Um, and you've got to peel off the little cellophane uh, protective layer here. So you've got to peel that off, otherwise you get a horrible picture. Uh, once I'd done that, it cleared up, it was all right. Is there a brand on it? There's no, I can't see a brand name on this. This is all that's on the box. There isn't actually any, there's nothing else. So there's no brand name on it or anything. What I'll do, because I, um, I got this on Amazon, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. And if you do want to pick one up, I'll leave it there and you can have a look at it. But uh, overall, for ease of installation and, you know, for the, you know, the extra bit of peace of mind it gives before you open the front door, for, you know, for sort of 30 quid, it's brilliant. I, you know, I think it's fantastic. It really is. Um, so there you go, guys. That's it. A quick little video on just the installation of a digital door video viewer. Um, if you want to subscribe to this channel, you want to be looking up here, want to watch another video down here. The most important one is Patreon. That's up here. And otherwise, I will see you next week. See you later, everybody. Take care.